How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here and welcome back to another great set of games in World of Tanks Xbox One Edition post update 6.0 and today I will be playing two games in the Grill 15, a German tier 10 tank destroyer that is also turreted but the turret doesn't go all the way around the tank so that's kind of a bummer but it is what it is. Moving on! You get a wonderful 15 centimeter gun that is accurate as all hell and you make it even more accurate with brothers in arms, uh, study aim, and a bunch of other stuff. Penetration for this wonderful gun is 275 millimeters of pen for the standard AP rounds, dealing 750 on average damage for penetration, just like the premium AP, I almost said ABCR, just like the premium heat rounds it gets, which also does 750 damage with 334 millimeters of penetration. You also get 75 millimeters of pen for the high explosive rounds, dealing 950 damage on average per penetration instead of the standard 750 for the other two ammunitions. Its view range is 390 millimeters, Jesus Christ, 390 uh, meters, there we go. Hit points is 1800 HP, its max speed forward is 60 kilometers an hour, its top reverse speed is 12 or 15, I can't remember, it doesn't say. Ah, uh, da da da, or, yeah, okay, it does, it is 15 kilometers, I was right, the second time. You got no armor on this thing, if you played this line at all, you know exactly what to expect. Ah, uh, da 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 da, aim time is bonkers, crazy great, uh, gun depression is 8 degrees, and gun elevation is 15 degrees, you've got a 15% fire chance, not really a lot to worry about there. Its traverse speed, however, is a very lackluster, it is 24 degrees a second, it's, but but not even worth putting on clutch braking or off-road driving. Maybe off-road driving just to help with ground resistances, but it's not worth it for the uh, clutch braking just because it's that much. It, it, it's terrible. It's not worth putting on. End of story. Uh, da, 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 da. Is that it? Is that it? Sure. All right. Cool beans. So, yeah. This thing's accurate as all hell. It's already... What's the accuracy on the fucking gun? 0.27 base. So if you add Brothers in Arms, as well as Steady Aim, which is a perk, as well as the consumables for this tank, and a... I think you can put on a vertical stabilizer on this thing, and if you can't, well, it doesn't fucking need it. Your accuracy will probably be .19, or something of the sort, after all that stuff is on. So, that's great. You're seeing kind of old footage. I would definitely switch out for all the premium consumables, including the food. So... Yeah, you got your standard enhanced repair kit, your enhanced uh, med kit, and your uh, premium food consumable that you can activate whenever the fuck you want. Oh, thank God it doesn't count for every time you activate it. That would really suck. So, I'm getting wailed on, on Himmelsdorf here, because they made it up to the hill. I'm kind of stupid, being stupid. This shot should probably go in, but guess what? Mm -mm, not gonna happen! Because RNG hates me. But it's fine. I'm taking my time. I'm trying to trade damage as best I can. I got a lot of free damage in the beginning there. Hence why I'm being a little bit more reckless than I would normally be. But this is probably a good spot for the Grill 15. As awkward as it looks. Just because not a lot of people are going to be shooting through the mid a, mo uh, a majority of the time. And the people that go up to the hill. You're going to get spotted in this thing. Regardless of where you are. If you can deck it out with all of the concealment perks. It's somewhat worth it, but you're still going to be spotted every time you fire. Doesn't matter where you are. Unless you're behind bushes. But, considering there's no armor on this thing, and already is a thing, it's definitely worth it to put in all the skills for concealment, uh, for better concealment rating, except for the one that involves you giving you 10% more concealment while you're in foliage, a.k.a. bushes and trees. Just in my experience, it doesn't do a lot. And if it does, then nah, I don't really notice a difference and have been fine without it ever since I started playing the game. So, that's cool. Or at least got used to the game to the point where I'd be Unicum or Super Unicum status. But, moving on. It It is capable of snapshot uh, snapshotting things, but it's much more worth it to stop and aim at what you're actually going to shoot just because its gun, once again, is accurate as hell, doesn't take long to aim in, and it's just... It, it, the gun is AIDS. <laughs> it can hit anything from 400 meters 
reliably. Like, it could hit the hatch on a T125, no problem. That's pretty big, though. How about something smaller? Like, um, Do I want to say it could hit an E100's uh, top T-bar Commander Coppola from 400 meters away? Probably not every time, but maybe every one out of three, which is pretty fantastic considering the distance. But you don't even need to. Just aim at the turret with heat, and you'll go right through every single time. It's bonkers. It's it's so great. I get exceedingly lucky here, but mm, the Death Star could have very easily finished me off. I took a very reckless choice there, in in hmm, assuming that the Death Star would be staring at my other TD comrades here. And I don't know what this Jagdpanzer E100 is looking at, but he's not very smart, and he's letting them wallop him in the side because I can't help him where he is. He's being a little bit of the dumb. But the machine gets taken care of. We got a, oh great, a fucking badger right in front of me. That's cool. I have a heat loaded. I'm going to, I should have, mm, I think I did what I was supposed to there. I probably could have put a free shot into him and then started to run, but I was afraid if I did that, he was going to be aggressive and get around the corner before I had a chance to. So he puts another round into me. That was kind of foolish on my part. Should have let the other grill uh, fire or get shot first so he would be dead. I'd put another shell in and then turn around. Of course, now the badger's gonna be... No, I think I did everything right. Pretty sure I did everything right. So, you saw that tank behind me, that tank destroyer, which is the Waffle 4. I'm going to see him in a second, realize what he is, and then switch to HE. I also think that's a good play, because I can two-hit him instead of uh, having to high roll him twice with HE, because he's got no armor, just like me. Unfortunately, there's also a Conway back here. Didn't realize that, but also, our retarded heavies are trying to cap the base when there's six of their tanks left. So, very smart on them. Speaking of being smart, look what this Waffle 4 does. Ready? Ready? Instead of being aggressive and finishing me off, he biffs the shot and just bounces off my tracks. Or no, he tracks me, but I don't take any damage because otherwise I'd be dead right now. I kind of almost lit my tank there. Luckily that Object 277 finishes off the Conway, which allows me to live a little bit longer. I've got another HE loaded, and am I able to kill him? I don't think I do kill him, actually. <gasps> oh, that's right, because I'm forced, my hand, I, my hand is forced when the fucking Badger comes all the way over here. I put a high explosive into him, finishing him off because he's on minuscule health, and now i got to reload an AP round. So, that was cool. But... Will I get another shot off before I die? Yet again? And of course I will, because he'll aim for my tracks and biff it. But if I penned the high explosive on that waffle, I would still be alive. Naturally, I wasn't going to take the chance of going out. Like, I bet he doesn't even know how to play this tank. I really don't think he does. Because if he did, he wouldn't be putting the gun over the front of it. He would be utilizing all the gun depression. Look at this fucking idiot. Look at him. Just look at him. He's just sitting there. He's like, oh, they can't hurt me. Fucking idiot. Did you know that when you cap a base, everyone knows where you are? <sighs> They're so stu All they had to do was go around the corner and help me out with that waffle. Then we probably would have clutched the game. But that's all they had to do. Instead, what did they do? Ooh, minuscule 1600 damage and, oh lord. It, it enrages me so much. I don't know if they're bots. I'm starting to think that there's bots in the game. There's no way there's not, right? With the dwindling amount of people not playing anymore. That's probably the only way that they can sustain the servers, is to throw bots in the game. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Or maybe people are unbelievably bad. It's, it's honestly... Uh, they're both very good theories. <laughs> and one isn't so much a theory as it is a statement. But, yeah. Now we're going to be on steps. And this is going to be a much more wide open map. One that I can actually kind of hide in. Because there's rocks and shit to take cover in. And things that I can hide behind while I'm engaging enemies. And I'm going to put my accuracy to good use here. Because I'm going to do some dirty things to this Kranvan platoon. And there's not a damn thing they can do to prevent me from doing it. 
So that's pretty funny. I see that our light tank is yellowing as he should be in the middle. Cool beans. I get it. <laughs> I get that crazy pen. Was not expecting that. But, uh, yeah. I penned the roof of his turret there. That was pretty funny. Don't know why you would ever rush middle for that, but sure. I get a free exploding light tank shot. This is for me. I enjoyed that. That was, that was beautiful. So I'm already up to 1500 damage, still full health, and the game is just now going beyond the minute for the first... God damn it. Has started for the... Uh, has been in play for about a minute. Yeah, English is hard. So, obviously, they're either going to make a push down the 1-2 line, or they're going to make a push down the 9-0 line. I'm anticipating them going the 9-0 line just because of the amount of tanks that are popping up over there. And we have a good amount of tanks also guarding the 2-3-4 line, so I'm not really too worried about being uh, rushed from over there if that is the case. So, what am I going to do? Am I going to make my tactical retreat and then go snipe like a bitch? Is that how you play this thing? Probably. But where am I going to go? I think it's K... H? J... What the... Is that a K or an H? It's a K. I'm an idiot. I don't know the alphabet, apparently. But yep, we're going to go around to the K line and see what I can't hide behind while engaging these guys that my team is spotting for us. And thank God that light tank knows what he's doing, because honestly, without him, I think this would have been a, a bust game. I probably would have gotten enough to go up slightly, but definitely not enough to uh, warrant the light tank not being there, if that made sense. I don't think it did. Uh, I wouldn't have done it nearly as well without that light tank being there. Yeah, there we go. Fucking genius. So KB4 wants to take a whack, and now he's dead because he's foolish, and yeah, it's, it, it, it's a shit beating, let's be honest. What is that? Is that a... Oh, that's a Kronvon. Look at that fucking shot! Right into the lower plate from 517 meters away. Holy bejesus. That's incredible. That is amazing. And, oh, he, he wants one too? There you go, pal. Take it! Take it! Do I get a fire on one of these guys? That'd be hilarious. So in the first 60 seconds of this match, I penned the roof of a tank going down into the middle, who I assume is dead now, and then I exploded a light tank <laughs> by destroying his ammo rack. <laughs> well done! I don't think it's worth it to be visible in front of the entirety of the enemy team at the beginning of this map. Just saying. Just saying. You might, you're much better off hiding behind a bush and popping in and out of it to spot so they can't locate where you are. Oh, free damage! Love it. Gotta love it. You gotta love those instinct shots when you fire into a bush after you see somebody, like, running away in that direction, and then it's like, bam. And even if it's not the target you were actually aiming at, it's the most hilarious thing. And it makes you feel good about yourself. So, that's, that's funny. I, I love those. So we've got them pretty much squared away. We've got two other TDs next to my right, and then we have this turret. Oh no, he's not dead! Unfortunately, my shot goes a little to the left, and I don't end up finishing him off. Now I have to panic a little bit, because they're already still alive, and if he sees me where I am, he's probably going to take a swing at me, and that's no bueno. So I'm going to try and go down here, and uh, see if I can't spot that Concept 1B again to finish him off. And if I can't, that would suck. But if I can... That would be a lifesaver. I'm, I'm contemplating just rushing him because I know we can't really do much. I'm spotted. I'm like, oh shit. Now he's going to know I'm coming. Fantastic. And now we're going to play fucking Ring Around the Rosie. It'll be great. But oh look, there's a medium trying to kill me. And uh, oh look. Hi, CDC. You shit wagon. I don't know why the uh, Concept 1B didn't hit me there. That was kind of weird. Unless he didn't, I missed it. But yeah, isn't it weird how you can go from like, oh, this game is won, easy, no problem, to like, oh, we're dead even all of a sudden when we had all the advantages. Weird. And he just tracks me. Well done. Good job, 1B. You've done well. Just kidding. 
Oh, and they're already dead. That's why I got so reckless. Okay. That makes sense. I love this thing. If you're ever in trouble, you just go to a different part of the map and then snipe from there or a different part of debris and do that. But never be frontline in this thing unless it's with other uh, another big clump of support because you hit for 750 every shot or more, a little bit less sometimes. But you can't take hits. You can't bounce anything if it happens. It ain't gonna happen again. <laughs> Guaranteed. And people will sling high explosive at you, so they'll kill you even faster than you anticipate. So, always gotta look out for that, and I kill both the Kronvons. Oh! Eat my ass, Platoon. Eat it! I love when people Platoon, and I outplay the shit out of them. Like, people who Seal Club in Tier 5 with PZ 5-4s, and I shit on their dreams with a regular tank. Oh! It's the best. So, we did... A... <laughs> Do I even want to round it up? I'm going to round it up. 7,500 damage base there. And even if it wasn't base damage, I got 15 spotting damage. So, uh, 7,500 regardless. Very great game. And much like all my great games, the rest of my team did practically fucking nothing. But that light tank, thank you light tank. I applaud your skill and your awareness. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the two games, and I'll catch you next time.